Hey guys, <laughs> Nigerians go talk say nothing when Musa no go see for gates. You see this country, anything, everything can be possible. Suspected criminal in Kano joins Nigerian police force months after being declared wanted by the state commissioner. Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Nigerians, an alleged notorious criminal, Nasiru Hadulai, popularly known as Chile, made the key, who was recently declared wanted, has joined the Nigerian police force as a police constabulary. In trending pictures, Hadulai was seen with a senior police officer at one of the police colleges and training schools. He is among the 10,000 police constabularies undergoing six months long training exercise to enhance community policing across the country. In August, Hadulai and two other notorious criminals we are declared wanted by the Kano command with a, a bounty of 100,000 naira each. However, he turned himself in at the Bompard headquarters of the command a few days after. The statement then by Adulai, the police spokesperson, Adulai Kiwa, Kiwa, the police spokesperson in Kano had said, Adulai reported himself to the commissioner of police. He was quoted as saying, he slept at Beria Grand Yards in Kano State just to invade the infection by security personnel. One of the three notorious wanted criminals named Nasiru Adulai, popularly known as Chile, of Lai, Fawaya, Karuna, Makabuta, Quarters, Kano, has surrounded himself to the office of the Commissioner of Police, Kano State Command, CP, Muhammad Usani Gume, upon hearing the declaration of 100 million, okay, it's 100 million birthday for his arrest, the statement had read. This brings a total of 100 documented and profiled repentant criminals being that so far surrounded themselves to the police command. During the hide and seek regime, the said repentant terror, Chile, said to the police that he used to sleep at Beria Grand Yard in Kano City just to invade defection by security personnel is now appealing to the police and the good people of the state to forgive him that he has repented and he is now ready to work with the police to promote sustainable peace and development in the state. He is therefore not to be arrested by the police or stigmatized by members of the public. The remaining two with 100,000 birthday on each for Coolest on information leading to the arrest, they are Abba Bukarta of Durai Quarters and Honta Dabi of Kwana Dusi. Prospectors beneficiaries of these bounties were with credible information on their whereabouts are required to contact the nearest police station. Meanwhile, a 45-year-old police inspector, identified as Festus Onuri, was allegedly linked on to death by suspected Okada riders at Owashuku community in Anyocha South local government area of Delta State. According to Daily Trust reports, the police officer who served at the Marine Police Station, Cable Point Asaba, was lynched to death in the presence of his wife and three children while on their way to Sunday church service. 
the elder brother to the deceased Austin Oniri, who confirmed the incident, said that trouble started when a commercial motorcyclist hit his brother's vehicle from behind in Okbanam while going to Sunday church service with his family. He said as a result of the accident, his brother stopped and picked his vehicle at a distance to ascertain the level of damage and to ensure that the motorcyclist and the passenger were not hurt. He said no sooner had his brother alleged from the vehicle than young men of about 20 armed with, with sticks and crops started chasing him. He narrated that the sight of the armed young men prompted him to run back into his car, adding that as he drove off, fearing for his life, the young men continued to pursue him. When he got to Mabuhi, Okpanam, he diverted through that route to the express route, thinking that his chasers would be discouraged and retreat. Behold, they pursue him down to Oguashuku community, even facing Kwale when the fuel in his vehicle got exhausted on the Oguashuku community, Kwale Express way, he narrated. At the time, his pursuers numbering over 200 and 200 then mobbed him to death in the presence of his wife and three children. They also destroyed his vehicle. It was a passerby who, according to his wife's statement, took him, the inspector Oniri, to Guashuku police station before he was confirmed dead. Nigerians. He said, as I speak, his body is in the Mogu, he added. One that shall never cease to end in Nigeria. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.